Hello, welcome back. To all of you parents out there, today we're going to talk about power struggles. The truth is, power struggles are present in every relationship at times until we start to realize that we're participating in them. And today we're talking about power struggles within parenting. I feel like one of the quickest ways that you can put a huge divide between yourself and your child is by um, hanging in there with power struggles. And I want to talk about this because power struggles is when I don't get my way. And so much of parenting has been manipulation, right? It has been coercion, trying to get people to do what we want them to do. Even if they don't want to do it, I'm the parent, therefore you must listen and you need to do it. But we are stepping away from old paradigms and we are stepping away from fear-based ways of living. And the hierarchy is one of those ways. It's no longer a dictatorship of parenting. Now, I feel like we're becoming more self-responsible and loving, and we realize that we're growing people, right? We're not trying to own people and make them do things that we want them to do. There's a lot more to this. And if you would, think about yourself as a child. I'm gonna move these papers that are making noise. Think about yourself. Think about your relationships with your mom and your dad. Do you remember what a power struggle was like? Do you remember when you wanted your way and maybe your parent wanted their way, right? What were the ways that they treated you during that time? And was there somebody who always had to go apologize to somebody and somebody who withheld affection and love because the parent didn't get their way or vice versa? And we learn these ways of being, right, from sometimes from our own parents or, uh, well, oftentimes it's from our caregivers. In any case, power struggles begin when our children won't get potty trained on time, right? That's one place we definitely see power struggles come in. Trying to get a child, trying to get a person to um, eliminate on our timeline. It's crazy, isn't it? It's kind of funny. Like, I wouldn't want anyone to uh, tell me when I can go to the bathroom right now, right? But of course, that's, you know, it's different when we're trying to help our children learn to notice the signs of when their body needs to do certain things. Bottom line is that can bring up a lot of stress, potty training, and result in power struggles. And those are what I'll call, those are like innocent kind of power struggles, okay? And, and they're often frustrating moments. But as we move with our children through the years, there are patterns of behavior that we do as parents and that helps form the patterns of behavior and the responses that our children are meeting us with. And I want to also say that this adds up to the relationship and what kind of relationship I have with them. So are you the type of parent who has to get your way all the time? Are you the type of parent who is trying to manipulate situations so that you can always have it your way? And this is a really good question to ask ourselves because if you are that parent, then there's a big imbalance. And it's important for us to be, I feel, to be teaching our children about coming together, community, meeting in the middle, working things out, finding solutions together, listening to each other because our feelings matter. And my feelings aren't the only feelings that matter. Everybody's feelings matter. So I am going to leave it there today and ask you to just observe yourself if you are getting into power struggles. This is the quickest way to divide a relationship between parent and child. It builds resentment, frustration over the years. Um, people harbor a lot of anger and if we can be aware of this now, we can do something about it. If we don't become aware of it until we're much, much older and we aren't as close to our child because we don't have a great relationship with them, then we don't feel like we have as many options. So that's why I'm bringing this to your attention today. As always, it was my pleasure to be with you. I hope this was helpful. 
and I'll see you soon. <laughs>